to see you, man. Um, what, what was your reaction when you when you when you got this uh, inv invite and this opportunity? And and what are you trying to take away from the experience? Uh, when I first found out, um, I, I was kind of surprised. Uh, I didn't really know much about uh, the select team, honestly. Uh, of course, you know, USA Olympic team, but um, I, ne I never really thought much about the, the select team. Um, but, you know, just from this kind of say like a, it's, it's an opportunity. Um, so uh, opportunities, uh, one thing about them, you know, they, they'll, they'll pass you by quick if you let it. Um, so just coming here and just, of course, working. You know, that's that that'll never change, but just being a sponge um, to anybody and everybody. I mean, we have the best of the best here, or if they weren't, they wouldn't be here. So, um, you know, for, whether it's a coach or, you know, nutritionist or, you know, anybody, you know, who works for, 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 for USA, you know, uh, they're the best at what they do. So just being a sponge to anybody, <clears throat> uh, keeping open ears, even if the conversation isn't, you know, with me by your, you know, um, somebody else talking to somebody else, and I just walk by, you know, just having open ears and um, not being afraid to ask questions, uh, kind of stepping out of you know, my, my comfort zone a little bit um, and being a little uh, more vocal and a little bit more um, interactual. Um, but like I said, it's, it's, it's an opportunity and I, I just can't let it pass me by because it will if I let it. Hey, what's up, Patrick? How are you, man? Good. Um, just your summer uh, since the season has ended, kind of what is uh, what have you been up to? And I think Spolstra said that he feels like your game has sort of already grown. Um, it, you know, there, is there anything you've been working on, I guess, so far? Um, a lot, a lot, honestly. Um, ball handling, for sure. Just getting used to pick and roll, um, getting in um, a lot more um, actions than I was last year. I mean, just being comfortable in those actions, knowing that I have the skill, I have the size to be able to make plays in those actions, whether it's scoring or, you know, uh, contributing to, to, to a teammate or dumping it off or, you know, whatever it is, just being able to just, just uh, have confidence that I can, you know, make plays in whatever action that I'm in. Um, I think, um, the, you know, my coaching staff and, you know, play developing guys at, in, in Chicago um, have helped me, you know, tremendously uh, with confidence and um, just making sure that I'm ready. Um, not, not only for, you know, the USA, uh, select team camp, but, um, you know, for the, for the upcoming season and for, you know, summer league. So um, I've just been working, you know, any, every action uh, that I think I could be in next year, I've been working on it, uh, watching film on it. I'm um, just thinking the game, talking the game, and of course playing the game, but that'll never change. But um, I think it's, it's been more of, uh, you know, mental uh, for me this summer than, than anything else. We've seen you at a few sporting events. I mean, you've been mostly in Chicago. You're at the Sox game. You're at the Sky game a couple of times. You've been most in Chicago. You've been out west. Yeah, uh, I spent about a week and a half uh, out in uh, LA, you know, just to change scenery a little bit. Um, I worked out there as well, uh, but uh, for the most part, I've been in Chicago, um, just working there. Uh, in reviewing your rookie season, uh, what do you feel you have to do uh, better or differently? And how will playing against these players, you know, the, the elite, the all-stars, the all-pros, help in that? Um, I mean, the rookie season, it was, it was um, more than I could ever ask for. Um, kind of being, um, like everybody else has been saying, kind of thrown into the fire, um, honestly. You know, just without having, um, you know, uh, the, the proper uh, introduction to the NBA, just kind of having, you know, just for a preseason game, then right into regular season. Uh, but I want you know want to have it any other way. Um, honestly, I uh, just um, it was a challenge for sure. But um, I was up for the challenge, and I think I you know handled it pretty well. You know with the help of my my, my teammates and my coaching staff. But um, the rookie year, it was it was like I said, more than I could, could have ever asked for. Um, I kind of know now um, the game plan as far as my development, my future. Um, I don't have all the answers yet, but I kind of have a you know. With the help of my coaches, they, we, we, we've kind of put a, um, a game plan together uh, to get to where I need to get to. Um, and I'm sorry, I, I forgot your second question. Just about playing against these players, this level of players, uh, how would that help you? I mean, in every way, in every way, honestly. Uh, kind of like I said, just being a sponge to those guys, um, whether I'm guarding them or whether they're guarding me or whether I'm, you know, 
on the sideline and they're they're playing just uh, hearing the things they talk about on the court off the court um, kind of how they approach uh, their development kind of how they're approaching um, this summer um, and then also you know on the court I mean it gets no better than playing against the best in the world um, I think I had a stretch there where I guarded you know LeBron and Kate and uh, Giannis and you know uh, uh, Kawhi Leonard I think three games back to back um, but now I get a chance to do it, you know, every day. And it's, you know, more than just three guys. It's, you know, the best in the world. Um, they're all here. Uh, so just being a sponge to those guys and, and, and trying to pick up anything that I can along the way. Thank you. Hey, Pat. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Um, I did kind of a two-part question on being there with Zach. Um, how much does it add to the experience uh, to you to be able to link with him while you guys are both in Vegas, obviously him with the national team? Uh, and then he, he was a select team guy in the past. So I'm wondering if he's kind of passed down any advice to you on making the most out of the opportunity. Uh, we kind of talked about that yesterday. Uh, we kind of, you know, went to dinner last night and uh, we definitely have an in-depth, you know, conversation about um, his time on the select team and, you know, just how, how excited he was when he found out that he was on the, um, on the USA, you know, main team. Um, but he just kind of told me to be myself, you know, play my game. Um, that's 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 pretty much all he said as far as you know basketball. Uh, but he 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 definitely um, you know encouraged me to be a sponge around those guys. Um, he pretty much told me how much he learned um, when he was on a select team and um, how how great of an experience it was for him and kind of how that uh, propelled him forward you know to to be the player that he is now. So um, he just encouraged me to to like I said kind of get out, out of my comfort zone and um, ask questions and. Like I said, just, just be a sponge. I, I think that's pretty much the, the motto for this camp and for the summer in general, uh, just being a sponge to, to any information I can get um, and kind of try to help that, you know, um, translate over into my game. Thank you, Patrick. We'll take our last question from Christos. Hey, Pat, hope you're doing well. What's your, what is your expectation for those, for the next days as a member of Select Team? Um, get better. Um, not only me, but, you know, help the main team get better. Um, I think, um, you know, coach said it from day one, you know, we're here to have a job. Uh, we're here to, I should say, do a job. Um, we're here to help, you know, the main team get ready. Um, that's a huge um, milestone for us. Uh, it's, it's, it's a huge opportunity for us, but also for them as well. So, you know, we have a job to do here. Um, and of course, um, it's just a bonus that, in doing our job, we get to get better on the court, off the court as well. So um, we have a job uh, to do here, which is, you know, help them get ready for for um, for, for Tokyo. So um, that's pretty much been the main focus um, of our group, at least. Um, and that's pretty much been, been my main focus. But, you know, in doing that, I will get better. Um, like I said, just through being a sponge and asking questions and uh, just the people that I'm around. I mean, you can't help it but to get better around these you know, type of guys. So. Um, like I said, we have we we have a job to do here, so just doing that job. Patrick, thank you for your time.